<laughs> Joining us now on Skype is Dr. Diane Horvath Cosper, an obstetrician, gynecologist, and abortion provider working in Baltimore. Okay, the first question I have for you, doctor, is can you tell us a bit about your work with Whole Women's Health? Sure. I, I think first and foremost, the most important thing that I do is providing abortion care to people every day in our clinic in Baltimore. Um, that's the thing that gets me out of bed every morning, makes me excited about my work. Um, I'm also the medical director of the clinic. So I work alongside our clinic manager, who's an amazing nurse, um, to make sure that the clinic is practicing evidence-based medicine, that we're complying with regulatory requirements, that we're creating a compassionate you know, relaxing space for the people that we see. And then I also bring in uh, medical students and residents into the clinic and also teach outside of the clinic. And then I do um, media work as well like this to try to um, bust stigma around abortion and um, really make a case that abortion is normal, routine healthcare. Great. My second question to you are, what are the challenges of providing abortion care to minors? So I know that um, a lot of states have it worse than I do um, than I than in Maryland, where a lot of our um, you know laws are very favorable to abortion access. But I just want to be clear that any laws that require mandatory parental involvement are harmful to young people. Um, it's not up to us to know the situation of people that are coming in the clinic. Most people, most young people, bring a trusted adult with them um, to you know get their care. But the people that don't have really good reasons to do that. And so, you know, I think for young people trying to navigate the abortion care system, you know, it's hard enough to come in to see a doctor or a nurse on your own. Um, and I think the maturity that these young uh, people have when they come in is really pretty amazing. So, I mean, I think overall, um, I really love providing care to young people and I'm kind of dazzled by how resilient uh, young people are and the way that they're managing their lives and, you know, accessing resources and being strong and fantastic. Um, but certainly uh, laws don't make it easier for us to provide that care. And that's um, really unfortunate. What are the challenges of providing abortion care to undocumented people? So I think that uh, we're already dealing with a system where undocumented people are fearful. And this is just been magnified. Under the system. Uh, I think undocumented people already face a lot of barriers in access to medical care in general, and care especially. Um, I don't think that anybody should fear for their safety or fear being arrested or detained or deported when they come in for medical treatment. And, you know, we work really hard to try to create a feeling of safety. Um, but the fact is that there are people who I think probably never access care because they're terrified. Um, so you're dealing with, you know, the legal system. Um, you're also dealing with funding issues. Uh, there are a fair number of undocumented people who are not able to access insurance. Um, and so they're left to, you know, basically to their own devices. And certainly there's wonderful abortion access funds that can help those patients. Um, but, you know, knowing that the funds are there, having the savvy to call them, um, sometimes there's language barriers. I think uh, there's really just a lot of obstacles for undocumented people to be able to access abortion care. And last but not least, why is access to abortion care so important to people's lives? So I can't think of anything more fundamental than the ability to determine if, when, and how to have a family. I mean, I think families are so foundational in society. And if we don't trust people to determine if and how to grow their families, uh, then I, I think that all the other rights flow from that ability to say now is not the time or now is a good time to have a baby or another baby. Um, I really feel like it's tough to, you know, even talk about the ability to keep a job or go to school if we can't control when we reproduce or if we reproduce. And so um, I think abortion is a fundamental part of healthcare. It's a fundamental part of, of human rights. Thanks again, doctor, for being here and for all the work that you do.